Hello everyone and welcome back on this new video. Today I wanted to show you my uh, Enet A8 after one year of uh, utilization and how I upgraded it, uh, what issue I get with it and how I fix them and pretty much the quality now after this year of uh, utilization. So it's currently printing something for my computer here <laughs> and you can see I changed a lot of things like the printer isn't like uh, brand new uh, obviously and I changed like um, most of the ports of the printer um, like the power supply and the extruder and I actually I don't keep a lot of things. Uh, so, on this printer I keep the original frame because uh, for the moment it's okay and I don't have enough money for buy uh, aim 8 frame, so we deal with it. Um, as you can see I already did a video of my uh, NET A8 upgrades. Uh, thanks for all the views, 25,000 actually, so that's really huge for me and I wasn't waiting that much from you, so really appreciate it, thanks. So, basic upgrade I have did uh, was uh, like uh, cable chain and stuff, of course uh, basic. So uh, after it I changed the extruder for getting better quality, like as you can see, it's like crazy quality actually, that's a bad one and I a bit fail, failed about uh, around there. So I, I already did better quality uh, from the printer. So uh, I changed the extruder, I will tell you why, uh, because uh, of uh, the quality and the weight uh, this extruder is uh, really really light and, and uh, really practical because it can print faster and better as you can see uh, over there. And I, I really much uh, think we can get way more better quality with it. So that's really, really great. So for $120 uh, actually on Gearbest, I, send, I put you a link in the video description. For me, it's the best printer we can get for this price. It's really crazy because you just have to spend uh, another 20 bucks on a spool for uh, getting those uh, upgrades and if you want to change the extruder it costs you like 20 bucks more so that's really a big deal and I really do uh, do love this printer for those reasons and of course we can upgrade it so it's a really nice printer like you print your own printer uh, it's really great uh, I do think this printer uh, prints uh, better quality than a 4000 euros or dollars printer like the Ultimaker and stuff. All the issue, issue I, I get uh, with this printer was, was the first issue was probably the power supply. Um, they do give you a really really uh, bad power supply or I'd say um, explosive power supply because it's really dangerous to get the original one uh, and the one which is right there and for example I put a fan on it because it's overheating all the time and this is really dangerous I don't want my printer to explode so uh, as you see I, I have smoke detector here yep that's really dangerous for me so first thing you'll get uh, you'll get to change when you get your printer is of course changing this power supply which which is bullshit for me uh, to be honest and yep uh, I put you a link to this power supply which is really really great uh, for me the best is the best power supply you can get for your 3D, pr 3D printer because of the integrated fan um, on it like you can see here it's not really noisy but because it's uh, like power control fan uh, automatically so that's really nice um, also uh, yep uh, of course I forgot uh, what you need to do uh, when you get your new extruder is of course install Skynet on it uh, you can find a lot of videos about uh, how to change Skynet on your 3D printer um, for it I did get a lot of issue because I burned like a uh, free mother motherboard to change Skynet and that was a really hard part for me and I don't know I get an uh, issue like that and that's really strange so I'll probably do a video for you and explain my issue about Skynet and stuff and of course uh, if you want if you like the video or commenting this video 
to tell me if I do a video about changing Skynet on your 3D printer, that can be a nice video, I think. So tell me. Also, so as you can see, it's printing now uh, the build tech. I installed the build tech, and this is for me a huge improvement for your printer because you don't need to change this duct tape every time you're printing. So that's really, uh, really nice things to do. And yep, of course, it's not, it costs you like 20 bucks more and you don't need to pay a lot of time the paper tape you use. And that's a big deal for me. Almost all the upgrades are 3D printed, so it cost, don't cost you that much uh, bucks. So that's really nice and a big deal. You just have to use a spool and just print your upgrades. Uh, I, um, also, I list all my upgrades in the description so you can get them and get the printer as I get. So, uh, the same printer as me, actually. So, after all, I um, print this case for the, um, oh, so for the motherboard. Like, it, it's look quite better like this and I really, I really like it like, like it is, actually, of course. And yep, I like my printer in general because it's really simplest and you don't get this much cable around everywhere. Like you can see, it's really managed, so that's great uh, things. And all the cable are pressing through here and going to the motherboard, so that's really nice for me. As you can see, here are the cable, and that's all of those little improvements are really upgrading your printer in the good sense. So, yep, I really like it. Also, uh, so many people would ask me uh, what is this 3D uh, carbon effect on my printer. So, uh, as simple as you can believe, I just use this kind of um, vinyl, vinyl and I apply it all around my printer. On this one, uh, I did the exact same thing and that's rendered really, really great. And also I did it a bit everywhere on my computer here on my keyboard, got a really nice render for me. And also you can get it for like five bucks or so. And that's really a great aesthetical improvement, I would say. Um, yep, I really like it. I think over one year of utilization, uh, to be honest, I wasn't thinking that um, let's go that far in the time for this printer because it's Chinese and, and stuff and you can imagine whatever you want. But uh, after thinking a lot, yep, that's really a fucking good nice printer. Nice printer, sorry. So, yep, like I was saying, that's really nice printer actually. So, uh, for the price, like I said, bunch of time, the price is like sometimes 120 and a bit over and, or a bit less and that's really big deal for me like you print a bunch of things and you can make profit about your 3d printer and that's really big deal of course for a security improvement i'd say uh, to put like a uh, new power supply of course and mosfet on it i did some video for showing how uh, to install mosfet so i was was recording for nothing because my phone stopped recording thanks for getting better secu security the um, basic of this printer for me like it's really nice printer as you can see it's one year ago i get it and i unbox it and unboxed it and I mounted it on my first YouTube channel as you can see. I didn't change the frame, I didn't change a lot of things and it keep going well so that's really nice. After one year yep, I didn't change the belt or whatever you want. Yeah for me it's really nice and really big deal for getting it and you can easily um, upgrade it and get better quality than some printer that reach four thousand uh, dollars and all the upgrade i did on this printer are listed in the video description below and yep that's pretty much it i really do appreciate it if you want any more video of uh, like a 3d printer or um another video of my 3d printer upgrade ask me in the description uh, on the video comments below um, and I'll do so. Um, if you have any question, uh, leave a comment below and I will reply to you as fast as possible. And yep, that's pretty much it. I really do appreciate it, like the 25,000 view on the last video I did on my printer upgrades. 
that's really huge for me. I didn't think that uh, reach this much people. And yep, thank you very much. And uh, yep, for sure, if you have any ideas for a new video of uh, printer and stuff and tips, ask me and I'll do so. Thank you and see you soon for another video. I hope this take a bit longer in this moment for making a new video. So see you soon and yep, see you soon.